So yes, finally, finally, finally! Though of course I'm back with another pretty quick Pokemon video. So of course though, um, we need another next episode review, episode review, episode review. I don't know why I say it like that. That was I have no idea where I was going with that. But of course, it's another I'm um, the EP Evolution episode. It's the last one I think with Umber on Espeon. I think it's somewhere around me. I'm above. I you guys already know how it is. Um, but yeah, um, or you know, for, for searching the other videos, it should be like somewhere on the channel and stuff like that. Of course though. But yeah, um, again, like this one, um. Isn't that bad either? I'm in the kind of middle ground, like I like it and I kind of did. Eh. Um, I like it, but it's okay because, like, I mean, the EV evolution, like, it's just the story is so simple and it goes by. I feel like just it's a very simple, very easy story to kind of get into. But that me and was like, the HP episode was so good to me, kind of come back to this. It's kind of like, uh, it's good, but it's also like, I don't know, maybe that's probably why. I don't know, the hype just kind of cooled down for me a little bit, though, so. Um, yeah, though, of course, though. But yeah, I'm gonna review the episode, of course, go over everything, of course. We have a girl named Regina, she's a new student in Chloe and Go School, of course. So, you know, she's going there, of course, moving there, or just going there to sample, because I think she's just going, like, around, like, different regions and stuff like that, just, like, kind of, like, trying to get closer to her Klesion, I believe. Um, that's super protective against her, and she kind of wants to go by herself, but she gets kicked because she's super shy. And basic simple plot, though, of course, though. So, of course, Miss Darrow, of course, um, you know, during the night, when it goes to daytime, simply I should just want to go to um, Colleen Go School, of course, to get a presentation on, the, I think, on Go and Ash's journey, I believe. That's what's going on, though. Um, but yeah, of course, Ash is just super bummed. He didn't want to go. Even though Ash was singing with Lola, come on, like, you were super excited to go to school 24 7, but I get to just break down tired from that moment, though. So, um, yeah. Of course, Go is super excited as to why they talk about the journey. Ash goes to the, both of their journeys together as Pokemon trainers, but, um, so every time a test comes up, I believe Go does uh, just go to school and you know, participate. I see what she says, I guess, you know, again, because like, they're journeying together, basically, like, what they've been doing the whole time, so yeah. Of course, Go goes to the um, EV and, um, Regina, I believe, that's her name? Or Regina? It, it has, like, a, no, it is Regina. Regina, yeah, okay. Because it has, like, a G and the N, like, Jen, um, Regina, yeah, okay, that's it. But yeah, of course, we see Glow, we kind of give, give Glimpse of Glacia, of course, we're my favorite in the, in the evolution of all time. And of course, I'm going to again. Both love shiny, both love shinies, both love them as regular Pokemon. You guys already know I'm a hard fan, though, so you already know how it is. You already know how it is, my boy. But yeah, of course, it's, it is super protective because, again, she's a new student at Chloe's school. Um, Chloe goes to school, Chloe's school, because I mean, mainly Chloe's going there anyway, though. But, um, yeah. Of course, you, we see that she's super, super protective, though, of course. Um, but yeah, of course, Chloe goes to like, like keep going and stuff like that because again, Chloe kind of understands you know how Yamper is, and um, yeah, Chloe like completely understands how Yamper is. Like he's like it's super protective. It really wants to protect Chloe. It really wants to keep like Chloe to stay. So I guess it's really just a Chloe reminder, just really a reminder episode like how Chloe was used to before and after, pretty much though. But it's just, it's a really good episode for her. like not really development thing because she's already passed like all this like. Again, we, 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 again, we already went past the support with Chloe anyway, though, so um, it's kind of like, I guess she just sees herself and like all that, but of course, we see a really bad just drawing pictures and stuff like that, of course. Of Ash and Go, like, you know, basically talking about the journey and stuff like that, of course, you know, all the drawings and everything. Uh, yeah, Ash is super, uh, you know, kind of long down, long ago, she's super happy and excited the whole time. Of course, she's kind of the background to make a joke and stuff like that, though, so it's pretty good, I don't be so far, though, of course, in terms of the journey and stuff like that. Of course, we see a new girl come in, of course, typical anime style, you know, have uniforms, you know, see that you super kawaii. Cute, quiet, with cute in Japanese. Cute girls, so like that, you know, just freaking out and stuff like that. Of course, the very, very typical stuff. Of course, Chloe sees, like, oh, wait, that's good. Hey, I'm glad on. Of course, we see um, it's super protective and stuff like that. Of course, they basically have to be around each other. You know, I think the way she really wants that, though, but she kind of wants, like, you know, you know, for her own life and stuff like that. Well, Glacian's protection is pretty much a makeshift bodyguard. Again, it's just another Chloe EV evolution episode. Again, that's not bad, but it's also like, I don't know, like, after our viewer is getting a little bit better, though. Of course, Chloe kind of, you know, got to just talk to the courtyard and just, not every courtyard, but just talk to go to the garden. He talk because Chloe does, you know, flowers and everything, of course, for her school. So he gets, like, the soil and all the, you know, treatments and stuff like that. So she basically, you know, talk to her and stuff like that. Again, just a basically kind of a mirror thing. Um, basically, oh yeah, because um, she can't have all Pokemon in the classroom. It, it, it had to be like a player. So we see Pikachu, of course, Groovy, and Phoebe, of course. So we see Glaceon, you know, basically just back and cough, though, because it doesn't want to be, like, you know, near them or something like that. It's kind of like anti social or something like that, though. But of course, it doesn't really know, like, the have and stuff like that, though, of course. But they start to kind of like, learn stuff like that, though, of course. And we see kind of Chloe and, um, and Glaceon kind of connect again. Like, I feel like Chloe's going to end up getting with all the um, EV evolutions anyway, though, so. Because then Chloe's EV did not know what it wants to evolve into. And we, like, again, like, this Chloe's basic journey, like, she, what she wants to do or Evie. She doesn't know what she wants to do. Everybody thinks she wants to be a researcher, but Chloe does not want to do that. She wants to define her own, like, her own thing. She's a Pokemon channel rant, basically. Trying to figure out what she wants to do. So, yeah, it's pretty much Chloe's arc, though. And I see, again, we see, like, really Regina, like, in Chloe. Like, we kind of see him, like, you know, Chloe, basically Chloe before she became, you know, 
everything, of course, though. Again, it's literally just a like, mirror Chloe episode. Like, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe used to be like this, and now she's like this. Now, again, she has completely changed since the beginning. I don't know, like Chloe ever since the beginning, though. She's actually been a really good character, in my opinion, though. Of course, we see, um, you know, Regina and I just saw their back off. Just go play the Pokemon and stuff like that. Um, and of course, Regina seems like she could, like, kind of like a PTSD flashback, though. Could see, um, Ash and Bill, um, Chloe kind of greet each other again, but then, of course, we see, um, you know, um, um, the rest of the class team go like just you know being super interested in her and stuff like that though of course i think classy on her peers and um again like, just always trying to be like be a friend and stuff like that but she's super shy and she doesn't know what to do again i think she believes she got picked on i believe a lot though it's, they call her, like an ice queen um then of course i think classy and I came in and just started like freezing like everybody near her though because they're super protective of herself all that it seems like it was, they just like each other like that though um but yeah of course, though, of course, Glaceon in its eyes, or such I don't know if it's film, middle female or not, but in its eyes, of course, it seems like the reflections of, like, you know, past, you know, all, like, the people who picked on her, Chloe, just, again, like, a, kind of like a PTSD kind of thing, though, of course, again, they're all just, like, trying to be super helpful, trying to introduce her, again, she's super shy, and stuff like that, of course, the classroom piece, uh, half the classroom just gets frozen, blocked in, and stuff like that, um, and then, of course, we see, um, they're kind of, like, on each other, you know, and stuff like that, and of course, um, um, Regina puts her, like, her back story again. Like, all the kids are just mean to her, her like ice cream, because, you know, and I guess this time, like, right here, we're basically saying, like, you know, she's basically looked like the ice cream and stuff like that, and she had a glacier on with her, and of course, Glacier literally jumps in and stuff like that, protecting, using powder snow, while your ice cream, you know, protecting it and stuff like that, she's just kind of explaining it. Of course, we see Grookey and um, Evie come in and help everybody, even Pikachu comes in as well, though, so yeah, of course, Regina kind of explains and stuff like that. Um, then of course, though, you know, everybody's just saying, like, you know, it's not a problem or whatever, though. But, um, yeah, then of course, her parents actually go to Cerise, though. Um, it just kind of, like, basically explain the whole problem and stuff like that. Again, we see her perspective, we're gonna see their perspective as well, though. So, again, it's really, really good, though. Again, the, the, the episode kind of, like, the characters develop and everything, though, of course. I guess she's just super alone, she doesn't know what to do. But she had put guys kind of back to the bucket ball, I said, keeping and stuff like that, of course. Then Chloe, of course, um, yeah, might say, you know, talk and stuff like that, though, of course. Again, Chloe's kind of just seeing herself, like, yeah, Chloe used to be kind of alone, didn't really talk to anybody, and kind of, like, go as well. Like a Chloe and Go kind of fusion, like Go was anti social, he didn't want to talk to anybody because it's past. And Chloe was kind of like the same thing, she didn't know what to do as a Pokemon trip, like she didn't know what to do at all. And she just, um, okay, that was my, that was my tablet. I was like, What the heck is that white flash? Because I have my tablet like running over here, I just I like to have it like during the video and stuff like that. It's kind of, I don't know, I got used to it already though, and just to look up stuff just in case if I'm wrong or whatever though. I have to just get on the side and stuff like that though. <laughs> um, don't try and be like any guy, pads can be like over here and stuff like that. But of course, though, she gets um, calls from the office and stuff like that, of course. Again, Chloe's just trying to like tutor her up and stuff like that. Um, but then, of course, like I said, um, she just, just again, she just doesn't know what to say. Dude, she's just super shy and stuff like that. Then, of course, um, Chloe, you know, Chloe actually, all of course, the typical Gala trio, tried to find her and stuff like that, of course. Saying she's not like a bastard or whatever, just sort of like sound just super protective and stuff like that. And, of course, if it comes out and stuff like that, of course, um, they all try to help her out. Of course, um, she tried to cover her Glaceon, telling so it wants to be um, protective itself, and it dies. I'm joking though. It passes out. I, I believe it's just maybe it's just like, you know, it's used to buy like again, it just uses, it uses the same move before and over and over again. Of course, you get tired and drained out and stuff like that. Plus, the climate and some of that around them. Plays in cold games. Plays, you know, like, involved in, like, really cold, like, you know, places like, the, um, like in the cave in, um, um, Snowboard City and like center and stuff like that. Like, it's, like a big glacier area. Even like everywhere and everywhere you have like a big glacier in Mossy area or Evie and like um Evie going to Glacy on Umbreon and stuff like that of course. Um but yeah again like it's basically that like it just can't like it cannot take the climate anymore like this. I guess it's just overprotective and everything. Of course everybody tries to cheer him up though now what is that of course I should go cheer her on. And Chloe as well. Again, Chloe really sees herself more in there. Even Cerise is like really serious. Like it, it like it literally just like the temperature like using so much power and everything of course. And again, like I said, like she didn't know it at all. She just was scared. She like she's always pretending it, but she's also just getting weak at the same time. But she didn't know it at all. She was just super scared about it and stuff like that. But of course, she explains everything. I use so much like you know to protect me against um, everybody. Again, like it attacks everybody and stuff like that. She's like it wants to protect her no matter what. But she also had to, uh, also had to realize that, you know get to back off sometimes. Like she had to do. She had to deal with her own problems as well though. She was basically just kind of alone. She can't really make friends because Glacian was so overprotective. And then I guess later on, she just got like, kind of like, scared and stuff like that. Of course, even Chloe, like, understand. But she, again, she basically used to be like that. Like, um, she didn't, like, you know, didn't know what to do. She was scared and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, of course, again, they see each other. I really want to see her return, though. But she's more of an interesting character. I see, of course, her parents come in. Um, because I'm explaining the problems and stuff like that, of course, again, like the whole family drama and everything, of course. They really family drama, but more just, again, just more in general stuff, though, of course. Like what's going on again. I'm liking the episode more as I talk about it, though. So, again, it's really good, though. I'm starting to, like, kind of get used to it, though. Of course, though, like, her program, um, dad, like, comes her, like, her, mom, her mother and her father coming to comfort her and stuff like that. Again, she doesn't know what to do at all, though, again. She's a Pokemon trainer, her glass down to 
um, you know, protective, old protective, basically being like a parent. She doesn't know what to do, whatever. Of course, the parents know about it. And you yeah, know, the whole bunch of big moment, they didn't really, like, really realize that and stuff like that. So, of course, Glitching off the floor a bit better, though, of course, though, and everybody starts to, of course, she apologizes. Everybody starts to, um, you know, basically um, get more courage to stand up, uh, stand up for herself more. And of course, they all start to be happy and stuff like that. I get a really good moment and stuff like that, though, of course. Then, of course, Ash calls out Dragonfish, and of course, um, oh, um, go, oh, go calls out Archibald. And of course, it starts to make like, a snowy kind of like play area around, and everybody starts to, um, you know, and go and calls out Seal and stuff like that, of course. Again, they all start to make their own, like, kind of like, a little mini, like, ice guy, like, snow area. Get more of a Christmas kind of area there, and of course, everybody starts to jump in and have fun and stuff like that, but, like, ice sculpture. And glitches all and stuff like that. I get really good stuff. Even like a whole Christmas dream, pretty much though. Again, the ghost sounds really helping fun as well. You can even come in and support some using like Hobby and I believe. Because you know, of course, showing like replacing all this stuff like that. Of course, again, like another whole Eevee thing. Even like she even Regina didn't even know about it though. Of course, she's really, she's really impressed with um I said Serena, oh my lord, with <laughs> Chloe's wrong one. Sorry guys, don't, don't don't get in the comments, don't kill me already. I know I said Serena, I didn't even visit Chloe. I'm gonna get freaking destroyed in the comments right now. They're like, who's that Serena? Serena's not in here, I want her back, please, the lordship. And like, just stop it, please stop, please. Don't spit in the comments, please. But yeah, of course, um, yeah, though, I can just like a little bit. Um, but yeah, though, I'm not going to try to fix it there. But yeah, um, of course, like, you know, those super happy and stuff like that. Really good moment, though, again, like, she didn't know about Chloe, about Chloe's even connecting with the other uh, TVs and stuff like that, of course. Again, more of a kind of like a Christmassy kind of episode, though, really. And of course, we see, um, a little kind of care package, though, of course. She's just like, on, like, a little um, snow globe, of course, from, um, her travels and stuff like that. Again, she's, like, just traveling, like, all over, just trying to make friends. And of course, you know, for, um, Evie and Glacia, her Glacia on her, Glacia and the girl, Morris Trainer, and of course, um, Turn the Pokemon basically coming to glowing, yeah, glowing, icing coming together, frosting. The, ooh, icing on the frosting. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect pun right there, of course. And of course, the episode ends off with a little glacing on kind of like snow globe, which I really would really, really love to have though. So, yeah, didn't really get episode. As I reviewed it, actually, like even more. I like how Regina's basically kind of like Chloe and Go kind of fused together, like our past, basically, that she was basically picked on for being called like Ice Queen. She looked like the Ice Queen from her um, old schools, and Glacian came in to protect her, and I think she used a lot of power to basically protect it and stuff like that. Protect, um, Glacian used a lot of power to protect, to protect um, Regina, and again, just overprotective and just. Again, she literally shielded herself like from her off everybody, and that's really wasn't really fair for Glacian to do that. And of course, Regina just to step up for herself, kind of like how Chloe does later on. Like, she uses the amper and then she starts to catch Evie and trying to figure out really what she wants to do with her life. Again, pretty good episode, though. As I review more, probably like maybe like a good four and a half, five and a half stars. Again, really good episode. Again, like nothing crazy really happens. Goes, Ash and Ghost kind of thing, gonna get thrown out the window. But later on, though, again, like a really good episode later on, though. Again, I probably gotta watch it when the boom the dope comes up. But yeah, pretty good stuff. I liked it all. Again, a really calm, calm real peaceful episode after the Ash vs. B showdown. I was like, everybody's not gonna enjoy it though, but it's a little bit more of a calm kind of thing. Where we're actually going back to school, boys. It's the video title. I said Go's going to, uh, Go's going to school oh, when the um, EV episode happened. Perfect. I just going to school. Let's go. Going back to school. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. See you guys later though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great day. Oh, good to kid though. Make sure you stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless you. All people going out. What massive. So people really, really need to. On chain though, of course, it's starting to get chilly. So make sure you wear a scarf. You always wear a pro I wear the scarf and mask and gloves. I have a big jacket. They helped me out last year. Hopefully, you'll help you guys and stuff like that. Maybe you can get rewarded or whatever. Try to make glasses and stuff like that. You can get vaccines. All that stuff though. So, what do you think about all this info though? If so, if you and stuff like that. Of course, if you like it, you hate it. Again, I liked it. It was good. All the info, everything was great. Again, I liked it. I got a pipe process it will work because I just really do like it as I break down talk about it more. My dog just got out of bed and she's dragging his covers <laughs> doing some of the stuff. So yeah. See you guys in the middle, you know. Peace out.